Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Charles, and today we're going to be doing part two of our cloud detection lab in Azure. So if you've been following along with the lab guide, so far what we've been able to do is configure and deploy our Azure resources such as Log Analytics Workspace, Virtual Machine, and Azure Sentinel. We were able to implement some network and virtual machine security best practices through the usage of just-in-time access that was provided through uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And today we're going to be utilizing data connectors to start the process of bringing data into Sentinel. So here is the Sentinel main screen. Once again, this is our SIM. So we're going to be trying to get the information from our virtual machine or the logs to be fed through to this so we can uh, later on make some analysis about what's going on in the environment. How we start that process is by using uh, data connectors. So we're going to come down here. As you can see, if you scroll down through here, these are all the different data connectors in Azure Sentinel. And basically, a data connector is just kind of something that allows you to bring in information or data from other sources. So for instance, you want, if you want to get some information from some other Azure services, like your Azure Firewall, Azure Key Vault databases, you can connect this data connector to Sentinel, and then you'll be able to see uh, that activity going on in your databases or your firewall come through as events in Sentinel. Uh, it's not just specific to Azure. You can connect other third-party stuff like Cisco things. You've got some, let's just scroll down, stuff from Google, Force Point. So there's a lot of really cool functionality here to be able to connect all sorts of uh, data sources uh, to your Sentinel instance. However, we're going to be focusing on Windows security events since it's a Windows 10 VM. So what we're going to do is come up here, type in Windows. As you can see, we got this one over here, Windows Security Events via AMA. We're going to click that, open the connector page. And as you can see here, it gives you a little description about what it does. So it's going to stream all your security events from your Windows virtual machines. That's what we want. So what we're going to do is come here and create a data collection rule. Let's give the rule a name. It's going to be tied to our resource group that we've been using. That's the one for the workspace and the VM that we've set up so far. And then here we're going to add resources. So we're going to click add resource. What you can do is scope it to either your subscription or to a resource group. So what we're going to do is pick our lab group here. As you can see, we have our lab VM, which is in our resource group. So that's been added as a resource to collect data from. Next, what we're going to do is go to collect. We've got some options here. We can do either all security events, common security events, minimal or custom. We're just going to do all just to get the most coverage. We're going to have a little summary of the things we just set up. So we have our data rule name, the subscription, resource group, and this resources. So it's going to collect data from our lab VM, and we're going to stream all the events to Sentinel. So we're going to click Create. And as you can see, we were able to successfully do our data collection rule. So here, it still says it's not connected. Uh, what I've noticed is that sometimes you have to refresh it a couple times. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, we got one that's connected. And if I type in Windows, as you can see, now our Windows security events via AMA is connected to our Sentinel instance. So that's the beginning of getting some data into Sentinel. If we come over to our overview tab, Right now, we still don't have any events or alerts or incidents, uh, mainly because we haven't actually done anything with the virtual machine. So in our next video, we're going to actually be generating some security events so you can kind of see how 
it works in terms of uh, logging and um, how Sentinel is going to react to that data. So once again, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.